Hey there everyone, this is Alcal playing a SIG's Daily Meditation. And today we're gonna start World 3 after ending it last night. That fish is so happy to see us! Dre Bridge 1! 3 Bridge 1! I did it! I figured it out! Welcome to Yoshi's Island. It is where tap tap, the tap tap, the tap tap keeps tapping while the saw buzz and I just run into it. We're in World 2! Maybe uh, three. Maybe things are gonna start getting harder. I know people have been saying how everything is pretty much of a romp ton right now, and I mean, that's accurate, but, you know, things could change. I'm just kind of seeing the coins, and I'm like, things could change. We're in the Sky World. Everything is Yoshi's Island. This is a good thing with Japanese ROM hacks, where things get more elaborate in terms of graphic replacement the more you advance through the game. And I've never understood why. I mean, like, when it's your first hack, I get it. Like, you see this, the more you get comfortable with the tools and the more you understand them, and the more you're willing to try, like, the more complicated levels get, because it tends to be a linear sort of uh, experience. But when it's your 38th game, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I'm jumping superheroes. That's the adventure. Look at that guy. He was running right at me. You know, there was a lot less logs on the map. Uh, the map must be just like uh, an abstraction to make it easier to understand at a distance. I am do a thing where I jump on that guy. But I will duck on this pipe. I did that. That's right. Oh, oh. No, yeah, I think they're generated now. Well, yeah, you can tell because some of them are coming from the left. Like, that can't happen if they're placed. You can't place things on the left of things. I wonder if you could now with, whoa, modern tools. Yeah, I died there. I made a very, very wrong decision there. I got all the coins, though, so I'm like, whatever. But yeah, I have to assume it could be possible now. If you have an auto scroll, to be able to place things so that they summon on the left? Like that, you could make some inner- Has anyone done anything like that? Open question to the audience, because there's a lot of people out there who know a whole lot about these things than I do. Now I'm genuinely curious. Did it. I bought that guy with my feet. It's the kind of wacky adventures you can expect in a Mario game. You know, stepping on a man's face and then watching its body dissipate or fall off the screen until it disappears. It's basically the same result. I ducked. Wow, wee zowie. I honestly can't tell. I think they're they're generated, but because it's an auto scroll, oh shoot! And all the factors are always kind of similar. They're always going to do similar things. Uh, I'm playing with fire here, like not doing the most logical steps. But here we are. I think I saw like a weird little graphic glitch to the side. I don't know, man. Oh, there we go. Outside of the superhero screening area and into the desert. Whoa, look at that happy tapo. Look, look at that guy. I don't care about Char Charlie. Look, I'm sorry. You're just not special. You're just crouching there in the sand. I don't know why you're doing that. Did you lose your contact license? Did you lost your driving license? Did you drive a contact lens? So it would make more sense. Ghost house number three. Right here, on the edge of a cliff. Where else are you gonna build a house, you dummy? Hmm, wonder if there's something that's gonna happen here. You can't walk through these, but you might appear behind there at some point. Cluster of ghosts, welcome to the city. I wonder what that means. Yeah, it was a blue coin! Just there! Just, just puffing and puffing. Like, of course, I would become a little curious. Now, it could have been a trap, you know? It could have been a, heh <laughs> I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put this red herring there. Except it's blue! I'm gonna put a blue herring there. Except it's not a fish. It's a coin. It's different. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and repower up before I press this donkey. Here we go. Uh! I have made a squish sound. I'm in coin world! Coin pit, coin hazard. There you go. That's how you get the secret exit. Just find the blue coin and just follow the trail. Just follow go it goes, then you can go down the ladder and say, hey, there's level all the way here. 
in the sea in a double exit. What is going on? Is gonna be like a super shortcut? Could be. Could also be a house. But that was a house, so it's doubtful. Hey, Feather, thank you. I like the power to glide and forget all of my problems inside. Leave them inside yourself. I'm just gonna glide down for fun. Yay, you see? Had so much fun, I got two feathers and the opportunity to wait for a bunch of ghosts to pass. And that's what we call Fun Town in the Onion Farm. Back in the heyday. Alright, back in the world of hay. Alright, so I'm gonna do that and end up a beer. Do I want to do that? Possibly. Yeah, you do if you want to get this guy. Did it! Solve the pu- Whoa! Scrolling around at the speed of sound. Just gonna get clumped somewhere. Follow the rainbow. Okay, I figured I'd press it now. I got rewarded. I could go up there if I want. Eh, eh, so I can go up here and get another diggity don. Those are important, man. Yay, we got exasperated through the vacuum pack machine. Oh. Uh, okay, wait a second. What does this mean here? Yeah, this just brings us back here. We're on a. Uh, well, no, well, I just destroyed my extra feather here. Real smart. Do you want to. Do you think you want to go in that pit? Like, hitting that P-switch is just not doing anything for me. I, I am just not impressed. Alright, you know what? We can try to go in the pit. Let's try and go in the pit. Pit go! Okay! Uh, that was not the solution. It could have been. It could have been. So... Oh, wait a second. Dang it, I saw something yellow here in the corner. Like, before I go fly off into nothingness, there's coins here. Here's a door. Ah, uh, here's the last dragon coin. Alright, well, okay. Sweet. You still get, like, the last diadons here. So, I, I'm just trying to figure it out. Well, I know that I can get the last dragon coin here, though. Like, by going through this passage. I don't know what that door down there means. It could mean anything. And I'm already back here, though. So what I'm going to do afterwards is I'm going to, like, press the P-switch. Um, well, I mean, I have plenty of time now. Let's just try and see if I can see, like, anything. I was hoping I'd see, like, a door or any kind of indication of where it would want me to go. Yeah, there's not like a block here. Uh, yeah, and I- Oh! Oh, of course! You go through the crates! And that leads exactly to the end! Oh, natural! Oh, what a dummy I am! You go through the crates! That's why they're there for! Let's go through! Well, to get go through to get thrown out. You know what? It's just, man, lots of red, red, double exit town here. Double exit desert. Well, nuts to you, desert. I'm going in the water. It's a desert secret. The secret of the desert is boss bass. Just kind of chilling there. Going back and forth, huh? Trying to be impressive. Well, I'm, I'm a little bit impressed. I'm gonna admit it. You know, you're going back and forth like that. Uh, nothing in here. Yeah, wait. There isn't? Wait, 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 no, wait, 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 I bought that, right? Or did I miss it? I lost everything thanks to this, so it better be worth it. You got a coin here, I just... Coins are just not that impressive. That boss man also has quite a reach. I've played hacks where at that height, I don't think he would've get you. Oh, it's just a one-up! I died for a one-up! I died for a one-up. That's... that's the world we live in now. Look at that guy, he's just sitting there, spitting fire. What a loog. It's not a real insult, but maybe one day it's gonna be. <laughs> Who knows? We made a bridge out of stairs opposite. The causation was opposite. A dead Wait, am I gonna get eaten? I'm gonna get eaten. I won't even get eaten! I'm not gonna get eaten! Alright, <laughs> that makes you happy. But yeah, there's a level beyond, however.
because this exit is meaningless. This exit is just exists as a sort of trap. Also, no sign of Dragon Coin. It's like the level doesn't start until you get to the other side here. Fair enough. Um. Now I'm wondering. Like. Because you can't jump up through these bridges, so you need to swim underneath. I'm wondering if this is one a version of him that you can defeat through the mer use of like a cape or fire or something. Well, maybe you can swim underneath him. Uh, it's hard to tell. Whoa, you didn't jump! Theory cop, where we jail theories. What? All right, here is. So oh, okay. So there you go. I'm so used to people making their boss bass invincible that you just have to kill a boss bass. Didn't like occur to me as a theory. Like only after like you know it was like my my third level of idea basically because in my hand I was that's just never the solution boss bass is everything proof except for now and yeah the level can start for real see we got midpoint and everything all right here we go oh now we're on the water all right so the scroller uses this oh are we gonna have moving layers or are these here just for fun oh we're using butter bridge Underwater swimming, oh, okay. This is weird. I kinda dig it. I wasn't aware that Butterbridge had layer movement? No, I must have known that. Oh, geez. Uh, all right, yeah, you just kinda... Well, no, you don't have a choice but to do it this way. All right, this is just a really scary thing. Hey there, big yellow molars. Oh, geez, it's infected with the munchies. All right, here we go. Eh, get a one-up. Totally deserved. Get out of here, buddy. Alright, you know what? It's fine. It's cool. I guess I'm gonna swim in case I get a surprise through the floor at this point. Like, I realize this could very much be the reality that awaits me if I'm not careful. Just keep going forward. Like, when you meet this kind of level design, normally a solid rate is just, just keep going forward. Don't let fear beguile you. Because there's no reason why it should. Look at those Electro, though. They're having fun. Filter feeding, sitting there, hovering in place, living the good life. I ain't afraid of you. You, you, you caribou. So, like, it's a, it's a risk. I don't know what I'm doing here. Do I want to press that? Do I want to not press that? Is it supposed to be, like, a sort of a swimming help? Does it make spawn good things? Because that was a big empty room doing nothing. Maybe a good prize would have fallen from a ceiling. Oh, I thought it was high enough that I would have bopped it. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, well now I'm in danger. <laughs> that is the truth of it. Don't shoot at me, please. I am not good at being shot at. I hope you understand. I'm just a small man with an oversized semicircle. With a P on it. Alright, I'm doing that for the added control precision. You know what? I bet I was supposed to just press it where I found it. And it would have been like a whole bunch of coins. And then here it'd be like, you did it! Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you don't know. You don't know, man. But I sh- uh, this, this- I feel like this is the kind of game that just gives you bonuses. So I should have just pressed the button. But instead I went, yeah, 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 yeah. Please drive me to the Kentucky Fried Chicken. And then I messed up with one mushroom at noon. Uh, these are the kind of health tips you normally don't get for free. So please absorb it with a lot of thirst. Look at that, it's a shortcut to World 1. We did it. Well, that's, that's fine. Sometimes having a quick way to go back can be helpful. Maybe if you're like looking for switches you've missed or something, you know, there there are reasons. Reasons exist. 